Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, I have somehow I have the worst luck trying to make an intro or out. Anyway, we now I think this is gonna be the epilogue part of all this. So yeah, well, 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 super sugar. Ah, yeah, the finale. It's you. What brings you all here? Hey, we're just having a look around. Why is it a photo here? I'm here to update myself on how things are going here. Hmm? Oh, the Fatui are here too. Ah, uh, uh, let me introduce you. This is Mr. Garun Snezhevich. He represented the Knave in sending us a large amount of supplies and is helping with our work. Our residents are hard at work as well. Thanks to everyone, work is progressing nicely. We've lost a lot of people, but we're moving forward. That will have to be enough. Ah, oh, so some don't get if I... Oh, I was hoping the battle in Shiva gonna be oceanic. Oh, maybe one day. Hello, Miss Charlotte. I'm a big fan of yours. I especially like that article you wrote last year about Fontaine stray cats. But if you don't mind, could you not emphasize our role too much in your report? It's not charity we're doing here. We just happen to share the same interests as the Spina. I get where you're coming from. I'll keep it as simple as possible. Or would you be willing to feature as friendly neighbors? That would be fine. Thanks. Oh, you're back too. How are things? We finished laying down the construction materials. It'll be another hour before the workers are able to go over there. Huh? You hear too, Clarion? Well, her reputation's greatly risen after that whole duel business with Miss Farina. So she's here in Poisson to wait out the heat. <laughs> all right, all right. She really came here to help me out. There's too much to consider in the reconstruction of Poisson. The Spina has need of more decision makers. And, well... I do already happen to be connected to Mr. Callus. Oh, wait, just a moment. Do you mind me asking a few questions? You know, about how you felt before the duel, about what it was like facing down a god. There's lots of exciting material there, I bet. Oh, don't worry. I, when I'm gonna get her, she's gonna face against Camus. And which one? Oh, yeah, it's, it's the puppet, too. I think those are like the gods. Oh, wait, do, do the Dendro Dragon counts, too? Although that is not the jungle, the no dragon, some kind of inside. I, I cannot I'm gonna remember that all. Forget it. I'm sure you can find a better theme than that, Miss Charlotte. Oh, I see you're the same as always. Couldn't you do me a favor for Navia's sake? Well, if we're talking about doing things for my sake, you might as well just take a few more photos of me or of the traveler. It's better than wasting time persuading Chlorand at any rate. Of course I will. I'm not gonna let him off that easy. All right, then everyone who wants to be in the photo, gather up and oh, smile. Yeah, somehow she can actually do this. How did it go? Was it a good shot? Did Paimon look cute in it? Not bad. Your addition really helped the composition of the picture. All right, hang on a moment. Let me snap a few more shots. All right, that should do it. I'll be back here later anyway, so uh, let's call it a day. <laughs> You're very quick. Speed is of the essence when it comes to the news, and freshness is the key. Also, not to brag, but I'm pretty good at building connections. Who knows? I might eventually get that interview with you after all, Miss Clarand. Wow, you really do have that never-say-die spirit. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'll hazard a guess that this is how you got that interview at the Fortress of Maripede. Whoa, you're well informed. Let me make a guess too. I asked Sijuin who told Monsieur Nervillette and he told you, right? That's a 
very complete information chain. In truth, oh, why are you all still here? Villette asked me was, when did the fortress become so friendly towards the media? I told him that it was best not to speak too soon. There's no guarantee that Ridesley will make a personal appearance. You're right. I've got to treasure every moment I have with them. In which case, I'll be making a move first. <sighs> Stay safe now. And tell me if you hear anything interesting. I'll treat you to afternoon tea in exchange. You seem curious about the fortress. Of course. Ah, uh, that Risley. I still remember going down to the fortress to grill him for information on my father's case. Boy, did he take me for a ride. Without telling me anything, of course. But he did invite you to tea, didn't he? Two large <laughs> pots of it, in fact. <laughs> it was good tea, though. I have to agree. The tea there is very good. Ah, speaking of that, would you like to have some today? I mean, you've got time, right? Well, I'd be partial to some shortbread. Wow, <laughs> it's like we've got a menu or something. <laughs> sure, sure. Mm, good. What flavor of biscuits would you like, Mr. Snezhevich? Me? Uh, I'm fine with anything. I mean, you should be. Prefer chocolate, should you have it. All right. Leave it to me. I'll go over the newly arrived supplies with you later, Mr. Snezhevich. We should be able to finish the preparatory work today. That works great for me. Huh. Is it just me, or did you get a new lipstick? Uh, I did. It was a gift from Sijuin. Want to give it a try? I think the color would suit you too. Hey, I can only bet you there's gonna be a comic about this. However, you're not even hiding it. You know too well what's gonna this evolve also. Hmm. feeling to this place looks like you've been missing us Duke! did you come all the way to the entrance to greet us of course i'm here to welcome you and our dear miss charlotte whom our good head nurse recommended to me it's an honor to finally meet the much rumored duke thank you for consenting to my visit to the fortress sir no need to thank me but that said, I shouldn't be the focus of your interview. I trust you recall our agreement? Of course, of course. All right, then. This way. What happened to him? Oh, darling, hey, best. Hey, no need to be so nervous. I've already taken all the photos we need. Um... Miss Charlotte, do these pictures really need to be published on the cover of the Steambird? It would seem that Miss Lorvine doesn't want her face to appear beside that of Mr. Jurier, hmm? Sir, please don't say things like that. <laughs> but it looks like dear Mr. Jurier denies it. Might this interview be very important to you, then? No, I, I, I just... This is my first time being interviewed, and I'm very thankful to the Steambird for... <laughs> now, I might not look it, but I actually did meet Mr. Edwin once. And I'll be honest, I enjoyed chatting with you more. You've definitely got more of that genius vibe going on. The boat that brought about a miracle, the ark that saved the people. Why, you recreated a myth back there, like an emissary of legend. Yeah, hey, more like fishing them. Why oh, you mean that I description? Still, if I might ask, where's that flying ship now? Huh. <laughs> Looks like Charlotte's trying to get herself another exclusive scoop. I have to apologize, but that ship is presently in the bowels of our factory. I'm afraid it won't be easy for you to get a shot of it. Really? Well, then in that case, could I have an interview with you to make up for that loss? You already know my answer, I'm afraid. Best you interview our head nurse instead. 
Or perhaps you'd like to take another photo of this couple of researchers? Did you really have to use the word couple? Well then, two solo photos will do. Is my hair messed up? Please, someone help me have a look. Things sure are getting pretty lively here. Eh, we've seen this kind of thing before. Oh, seems like everyone's here. Would any of you like to try this new drink I came up with? Ah, Sijuin. Uh, uh, hey, Miss Charlotte. Why don't you, uh, take some pretty photos of our head nurse? Hmm? Uh, sure. Come on, Miss Sijuin. Over this way. Let's find a brighter spot. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, sure. Uh, do I have to smile? So, how have things been at the fortress? Same old, same old, as you can see. Fontaine's undergone some changes, but this place is still more or less the same. Other than that flying ship, I got a tad too much attention, I think. That's why I decided to let the interview go through. We should direct more public opinions toward the behind-the-scenes heroes. Am I right, Mr. Jurier? Miss Lurveen? You're too kind, sir. I believe that you too should have your day in the sun. Not that you would want that, which is a pity. <laughs> I'll just leave the spotlight to you two. I see. Lots of things happened that day, huh? Anyway, regarding that harbinger, I'm not sure you remember, but his three young followers are still waiting for his return. Wait, why are you <laughs> sure she did win them over, huh? I'll tell them that there's good news and bad news. The good being that their boss seems fine, and the bad being that they must face extended sentences for abetting his escape. Oh. Oh, actually, what about you? Are things going to change for you too? What change can there be? The fortress will keep chugging along, and so will my duties. As to what Miss Farina's departure will mean for the nation, and if our laws and governance will be transformed, we'll leave those to the folks in the overworld. Hey everyone, the photo shoot's done. Good. In that case, let's call it a day here. Thanks for your cooperation. Come on, traveler, let's go. Till next time, everyone. There'll be a next time? Maybe. Who knows? I might write a story about the underwater factory next time. Until then. Well, I still have to do his quest, but that's gonna be for another day. Charlotte's photo shoots one day. Is that really necessary? Our line of work doesn't really require much photographing. It's precisely because we don't need the picture that they'll have value as keepsakes. You don't really look all that opposed to the idea, you know? Maybe I'm just happy that I managed to once again avoid the spotlight. I think this interview went well either way. Yes, you successfully kept prying eyes away by using Mr. Jurier and Miss Lurvina shields. Very good. You should be happy for them. They have a bright future ahead of them. Okay, that ball, that ball, let's hear. Here are the interview notes. They mentioned that the flying ship may have many uses in the future, and the journalist asked me what I thought of them. Seriously, how would I know anything about that? Flight is just flight. Whether people want to use a flying ship to broadcast good news or organize weddings is none of my beeswax. A wedding? <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> so the flying ship can be used for weddings? I didn't say that. That journalist mentioned it, and what does that have to do with us anyway? <laughs> True. What does that have to do with us?
Nabia mentioned that she stayed in touch with Linny and the others after working together. Apparently, they've been at the docks distributing these strange pockets the whole time since. Traveler, Paimon. Ah, oh, and Miss Charlotte, too. Would you like a magic pocket? What sort of gadget is it? It's a wondrous bag that can be used to carry many things. The water level has returned to normal, but if you see any of your things floating around, you can use this to carry them. Or you could trick a friend into doing it for you. Trick a friend? Hmm, I wonder which of my friends would fall for that. <laughs> yeah. You could just make a friend like Fremenet here. Isn't that right, Fremenet? <sighs> Is this what you meant by, I'll help you make some more friends? To be honest, that sounds pretty sweet. Could I have your contact, please? Uh, oh, uh, sure. Uh, please, write down my address. You sure are working hard to help Fremenet socialize. He was the one who proposed doing this. He even wants to assist in our magic shows. Yes, I was planning to first introduce Pear as an assistant, and later Fremenet himself. In the future, I think we can leave underwater escape magic to him too. That said, would anyone want to see a diver escape underwater? Oh, it'll work out. Every journey begins with the first step. He'll become a part of our show eventually. <laughs> uh, Lynette, could you come over? Miss Charlotte says she wants to take a picture of us. Got it. My, that Charlotte is rather perceptive. She got rid of everyone the moment she realized I had something to say to you. Hmm. So, how have things been, Traveler? Father says that you did a great deal during the latest events. She's very grateful for your contributions to Fontaine. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of surprised she didn't reveal her two cards. Like, okay, that's going to be a matter of time now. But I wonder what she's going to steal in noises. Wait, actually, yeah, Nouvellet has the noises. So I guess for the first time, the noises is not going to be sealed. Although I can't wait for the BS, they're going to come up. I guess you haven't heard. Well, after Lady Farina left, Father and Monsieur Nervilet opened negotiations during which he gave Fontaine's gnosis to her oh, as come a on. diplomatic gift. Why? A diplomatic gift? A gnosis? Yes, I was quite surprised at first myself. But when I thought it over, there were actually a number of things going for it. It could have been done as an apology for the incident with Lord Child, or as thanks for his help in tying the all-devouring Narwhal down. Furthermore, Father did also lend significant aid to Fontaine and Poisson. Well, uh, that's true, but this is a gnosis we're talking about. Doesn't this seem a bit... Uh, irresponsible? I would agree, but I've also heard that... It seems that Monsieur Nervilet has had a significant change of heart regarding the matter. Uh, so there's some reason for this that only Nervilet knows about? I suspect you'll have to ask him about that yourself. Ah, yes, speaking of which, I did see him strolling around the entrance to the Fortress of Meripede a while back. Uh, isn't he real busy and stuff? I didn't think he'd have the time for that. The Gnosis was given to the Knave, right? What about Child? They say that he's returned to Snezhnaya to recover from his wounds. I hear that the recent disaster really did a number on his health. Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna see an adult child, aren't we? But soon he'll be actually back here to, you know, do his final son. Eh, what the? Well, buddy, I'll do it. I don't... Don't you not give that thing when she throws the well, 
answer in the same word like, what the hell, what are you doing? It's called, I'm not sure what's gonna be her role in the story, but I guess we finally gonna get some response. So shocked by such a simple switching of sides? Wait, who speak? <laughs> who speak? Oh, the name. Father. Well, well, what do you know? Come to the docks to see how my children are doing and meet the traveler by chance. Please do not pay my accomplishments in Fontaine too much mind. I would have done them regardless. Are you going to... Take the Gnosis back to Snezhnaya? That is our duty as Harbingers, yes. But you have some kind of secret agenda with that, aren't you? Oh boy, again, she's in the middle. Even she's gonna be bad, she's insane or insanely good. <laughs> she's not gonna use Camus cheat code. Don't be too preoccupied with sides. The goal of the Fatui concerns not a single place or person, but the entire world. With such a grand goal in mind, it is inevitable that we must wear many masks. Okay, but in the same time, you want us to take the Fatui like some kind of evil organization with a pure goal. But in the same time, so far they are just cartoonish evil. In this arc, hmm kind of works kind of a redeeming quality but in the same time we know the angle you can put this arc so long before it just become time switching my masks is something i've always done oh boy yeah i heard mask like one of a sheep and a wolf well, that depends on many things. No one truly knows what the future holds. What good is honesty if you can't rely on it forever? As for you, I very much look forward to our next collaboration. Good things cannot be achieved alone, and you've proved yourselves to be great partners. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about this. To throw this in the cart asking. A vision? <sighs> Alright. I'll remember to return it. Thank you for keeping it safe for him this entire time. And that's a wrap for me. It, huh? You... You're... Greetings, Miss Journalist. Uh, um... Hello? If I'm not mistaken, there are diplomatic channels I'll need to report to to take a photo of you. That is correct. So forgive me, but I will not be able to serve as a subject in your article. However, feel free to write as much as you'd like about our dear magicians and our upcoming rookie talent. I... I will! The sea breeze is quite pleasant. Oh, I shall continue my walk while the weather remains so agreeable. Farewell. She in the Hello, gotcha. Oh, she has such an intimidating presence. I didn't even dare to take a picture. Thankfully, I've already wrapped up all my pre-scheduled interviews. Thank you all. This will be more than enough for me to write about, I'm sure. Don't be too nervous. Why don't you take a magic pocket before you go? Here, traveler, Paimon, you take one too. To move things about? That's right. <laughs> Funny, I was giving out magic pockets when we first met, too. And what do you know? I'm doing the exact same thing right now. So many things have happened, but the pockets are still the pockets. I guess this must be life. We will all follow our own paths, and serendipity will lead you to your fated friends. All right, then. We'll be handing out pockets in some other districts later, so we'll get going now. Have a good day, you two. Well, guess we sent Charlotte off. Shall we go see how Nivelle's doing? I'm probably not so busy.
see that he doesn't have time to chat anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 